So in, 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 this, in this phase, we will solve the integer program. So the previous one was linear program, but now we'll solve the integer program. So here you see that we have exactly the same problem, okay? So we are producing two types of product, high-end premium, and we have total capacity of 110, and we need two additives for that. And for high grade, we need three gallons of additive A and one gallon of additive B per barrel. And for premium, we need two gallons of additive A and three gallons of additive B per barrel. And our uh, additives are limited. We have 300 gallons of additive A and 200 gallons of additive B. And our profit margins remain the same, 80 USD per barrel of uh, high grade and 200 USD per barrel of premium grade. But now we say that, you know, we produce only in lots of 10 barrels, okay? So we produce 10, 20, 30, 40, so lots of 10. We cannot produce one, two, three units. So we produce either 10 or zero, or 10, 20, 30. So in this, always increasing or decreasing in 10 barrels, okay? So how can we solve this problem? So now we will do integer programming. So here, one idea is that, you know, we keep our objective functions exactly the same, but one idea is that, you know, this XH, it was previously one, one unit of high barrel, one unit of, one, one barrel of premium grade, one barrel of high grade. But now we will look into it as 10 barrels of high grade, 10 barrels of premium grade. And to account for that, what will we do? We will simply divide the right hand side of our constraint by 10. So before, if you remember, before it was 110, so now we have 11. Before here for additive A, our capacity was 300, we are calling it now 30. And then it was 280, so we have it 28. So we divide the left hand side of our constraint by by the number of barrels in a lot. Okay, so that is 10. And this is how we have it. And then we have uh, X should be higher than zero and X, uh, yeah, X high grade should be higher than zero and, and premium grade should be also higher than zero. But here in this case, you see we have something called HL. We use this L uh, addition to previous formation. This L simply indicates that all these values are integer. Okay, so this to indicate that we have to mention that uh, all the all the values are integer. They cannot be in fractions. Okay, so if it is integer, then we'll get like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in whole numbers and multiplied with ten. So it will be like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So if it was like fraction zero point nine, then we would, we could have nine barrels, which is which we cannot have in this scenario. We only have to have everything in lots of ten barrels. Okay, so if we just solve this, we will get the solution uh, and it is an integer solution problem. So let's see how to do it in Excel. So here I have the previous formation, okay? So what I will do, I will simply make this 30 and make this one 28 and also my capacity here, I will make it 11, okay? And what else? I will change them back to zero and zero. Okay, yeah, zero and zero, yeah. Actually, I think I don't have to do anything else. And then I go to solver. If you look here, I have exactly the same formation. My objective function has to be maximized. Then by changing these two values here, D11 and E11, these two, and then I say that, okay, these two has to be integer. And it is must, in the previous case, actually, it was not the must. But in this case, it is must because we are now doing integer programming. And then we said that D1 and 11, they have to be positive as well. And then this point here, H1 and D9. So here what we say is that our additive used here should be within our capacity, okay? So it should be less than or equal to our capacity. Again, the same here, uh, H7. H should be also less than the capacity here, that is F7. And then if we click solve, we'll get this value here, okay? So this is our profit. Actually, we have to multiply with this with 10. If you remember, we, we divided our left-hand sides with 10. So actually, this is our real profit, okay? So our solution changed a little bit, 
when we did not consider the integer programming, when we were not producing in lots of ten, we had a maximum profit of 19,000. 19, but we have now 18,800, so our profit reduced a bit. Okay.